Team Philippines, Team Poland, two rosters, and two teams that we've seen on the floor already. Two teams that uh, will not likely be coming out of the, the pool. Pool C. Playing for some pride out here. As Philippines coming off a close loss, 16 to 18 to Hungary. As Cole Bunton can't get the score at point blank range. Meantime, Poland 0 3 after an 8 to 20 beat down loss to Spain. So Bello going baseline for the score. See the heart of the Filipinos out here. Without Russell Escoto, playing three on four. Well, three on three on the court, but without the ability to, to substitute. Knig to Arduch. The big boy, guarded well by Kobunton, who doesn't shy away from that contact. You can tell he spends a little time in the weight room. Plenty of heart. Now Arduch on his heels. It's gonna be white ball with five on the shot clock. The Hessa with a few moves as he goes off the glass. How you like that, Washtinsky? He tries to answer back. Knig look good from here, but just a little long on the shot attempt. The Hesa. Oh, he thought about the two hitting with the Hezi, but uh, turned it over. So the Hesa to Cobunton, who does what he does best, straight to the rack. And De Hessa with the quick hands. He drives baseline, kicks it out to Bello. Two ball, nope. Washtinsky, open from the corner, splapper. And the quick answer from Bello. As Philippines lead it four to two. Two minutes have passed. Game number eight of 20 on the day. Not quite at the midway mark. But we're getting there as we've been just rolling through the action on our final day of pool play. Game eight again, and day four of five. Take that home with you. Koenig, go bunting with the super strong move after the crossover and the finish at the rim. Free throw is good. Go Bunton's free throw is good. Bello. Hop step. Oh, that's a pretty shot. Nice Euro hop. Seven to two. It's Philippines doing their thing against Team Poland. Watch Tinsky. Rocks the suburbs and uh, cuts the lead down to three. Dehessa. Can't get it. Watch Tinsky. Down to Arduch, and Arduch was fouled by Glenn. The Hessa. Felt like he got hit on the head. He couldn't get it to go. Arduch. Okay. 
And then Bello from outside the yard gets it to go get down. Nine to six. Bello, nowhere to go. He works against Lewandowski. And that foul is on the floor, so no free throw, but a timeout. As the Philippines lead 9 to 6, 6.25 on the clock. Bunting, clowning as he gets to the cup. Bello, corner, and the two ball is good. 12 to six. And watch Tinsky with the short jumper. Bello swings it to Cobunton. Cobunton drives, kicks it to Bello. Bello lets the two go. And he was just uh, left of the rim. Missed the shot, five point game. And it's the Philippines are in the lead here. Glenn out to Dehesa. Dehesa. Nowhere to go with it. Tries to set a pick for Bello. Bello goes off the glass. Great concentration to make the shot. Arduch chucking one up. And he can't get it to go down. So Glenn. Right at Arduch, pulls up on him, and can't knock it down. We're under five minutes to play in this one. Arduch now going to the post. And Bello doesn't even try to defend it. It's going to be white ball as Arduch checks out. And Lewandowski checks in. Dehessa, nowhere to go, guarded well from Poland. Janine. Glenn. He been in the weight room, ladies and gentlemen. He been doing something, push up something. 14-7. Bello. Goes through the lane, finds a spot. That was Steve Nash-esque. Just picked the spot, knocked down the jumper. Watch Tinsky for the follow. He blows it point blank range and blows it again. Watch Tinsky trying it from deep now. And he can't get that one to go. So it's an eight point advantage for Team Philippines if we step aside again. And under four to play in this one. Arduch to Kinnick. To Lewandowski, and the short J is good. Go Bunton goes in spin mode on the big man and 
makes him look silly on the and one. So nice, you got to see that twice. It's Cole Bunton getting the job done on the inside for Team Philippines. And converts at the free throw line as well, 17 to 8. And this one has gotten ugly. How about the double dip from Bello there? To make it 19 to 8. Philippines look uh, poised to get this W. And maybe uh, a little quick, quicker than we thought. And there's your ball game. Jahessa. I can taste the level. Ball game. 21 8. As Philippines wrap up their campaign. At two and two. With a 21 to 8 win. Glenn, we just finished the game against Poland. And you made it clear that you finished the tournament with a big victory. Uh, thank you, but it's hard. They're so big, man. But we're thankful to get that win. Uh, Carl hits a shot. It's amazing. <laughs> you seem like you had a lot of fun playing here in this tournament. Remind us, you are not supposed to be here. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be here, but Coach Mark texts me, then he invites me, then yeah, I'm going because it's looking excited in the Philippines. It's the same, but I watch, I watch Calvin, Big Manuel, wow. So maybe I, I will try this game, then yeah, I'm so happy that I'm here. Man. Tell us about how popular this game is getting in the Philippines. Terence Romeo is playing. The Beast, Calvin Abueva is playing. It looks like it's getting bigger and bigger. 3 and 3, they love this one because in the street, they're playing 3 and 3 without shoes. Filipino love basketball, man. Everywhere, everywhere. 3 and 3, 5 and 5. Calvin and Terrence, maybe if Terrence is here, maybe he's dancing again. <laughs> That's it. They love it so much. It was very difficult, this tournament, because a lot of big men but also you got your own big man injured after just one minute in the first game. Speak about how you reacted to Russell being injured. It's so hard because we don't have sub. We don't have substitution, then it's 10 minutes game straight, and they're so big, they're so physical, so all strength. If, if Russell is there, maybe we have a chance then. So maybe next year. What is the best memory of this tournament for you? This kind of crowd, like, just play, have fun, then the lights, the music, like just in the party, then you're playing basketball, it's fun, man. Can you tell us, now we've seen your game, we see your crossovers, the way you finish. Is it possible that we see you again next year playing three on three? Tell us about your plan now. Yeah, next year, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be playing here. Next year, I will join again three on three. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying too much. <laughs> A little, a last message for all the fans in the Philippines that were following you, tweeting about you. Uh, to all Filipino fans, thank you for supporting uh, Filipinas. Uh, keep supporting us. This is all for you guys, Philippines. I love you.